and welcome back to another How To Django 2.0 tutorial. My name is Tom with Mascot Online. As always, don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we've been getting a lot of requests to keep these Django 2.0 tutorials coming. Uh, we are keeping them coming. The written versions are up on our website, so if you're a member, which is free to join, you're able to view these written tutorials. Now, the video tutorials take me a few minutes, or a few minutes, a few days to a week or two to get them done due to my other work. Um, so if you guys are really itching, go over to mastercode.online and check out those tutorials. All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and limit content to signed in users via template. That's our goal today, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I already created a post here, and the reason I did it, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me type everything out. So we got a post, uh, a, a model, I should say, uh, model called post and it ta and it has three fields. So we got title to char field, we got body to text field, and the most important one in today's tutorial is we got a field called public, which is a boolean field that defaults to false. And what this public's going to do is, if it's set to true, it'll be available to anybody visiting the the project here. Now, if it's set to false, then it's only going to be available to signed in users. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's go ahead and migrate your database. So you guys are on the same page as me. So Python manage.py make uh, migrations like that. And it's going to say we have no migrations, so no changes detected. And then we're going to run python manage.py migrate. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I migrated it before. All right, so now back into our um, text editor. I'm using PyCharm. Well, let's go ahead and go into the views and let's go ahead and do. Um, Let's create a simple blog post detail view, and we're going to use a function-based view here. So we're going to go ahead, first off, bring in our models. So from dot models, import post, and then we're going to do uh, define uh, post underscore detail, and that's going to take two parameters, first one being request, and the second one is primary key. And that's how we're going to decipher which post we want is using the primary key. Next thing we're going to do is uh, set a variable for our template. And template is going to be post underscore detail dot HTML. And next one we're going to do is get our post via underscore. And we're going to use get object or 404. So you have to import that up there. I already have it there. And we're going to go ahead and do post comma, primary key is equal to primary key. All right, um, then we're gonna do context is equal to curly brace and string post, colon post. And down here, we're gonna do return, render, uh, request, template, context. And there you go, there's our simple post detail view. All right, next thing we want to do is hop into our URLs. So open up your URLs down here. Uh, I'm using my main URLs for this. In most cases, if I was using a, um, uh, if I was doing this a real project, I would have my URLs in each app. All right, so we got to import our, our um, views first. So I got from main import views. And the reason I do it this way instead of going from main.views import the view. Uh, what I mean by that is from main.views import uh, post, uh, post detail, I think it was. Um, the reason I don't do it this way is because if you have numerous views, this could get very long. So I do it this way up here from main import views, and then I'll show you what your view is gonna look like down here. So path. And then inside a string, we're going to say, um, what are we going to say? We're going to say, uh, let's do post forward slash uh, carrot to the left, primary key, carrot to the right. And we'll go ahead and do comma. And then we'll do views dot uh, post underscore detail and name equal to post underscore detail. All right, and just throw a comma down here, and there we go. So we're 
we got our URLs, a post, and it's going to take a variable of primary key, and then that's going to be passed to our post detail view, and we named it post detail. Uh, let's go ahead and set up an admin so we can go ahead and add a post. So we'll open up our admin here, and we'll just say from dot models import post, and down here we'll say admin dot site dot register post, just like that. And now let's go ahead and create a template. And I don't have a templates folder in here, so let's go ahead and open up settings. I got my settings right here, and we'll go down to uh, templates and then durs and then in here I'm going to say templates like that and put it right in here create a new directory templates like that and what did we call our template I do not remember we'll called a post detail dot html so we'll go ahead and do um, file post detail dot html just like that and our simple html document is going to have the basic html and then we're going to have body and i know i left out header but whatever and then we'll just go ahead and put post.title and curly braces post.body all right so we get in our post title and our post body and then we're going to go run the server let's run the server python woo python manage.py run the server so we're going to run the server here once it wakes up the wake up server while it's doing that i'm going to go ahead and bring up my forward slash admin still not awake yet still not awake yet come on there we go and I am in the process of getting a new iMac. So once I get that, hopefully this process speeds up a lot more. So we're gonna go ahead and log in. Log me in, Scotty. Oh, admin. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't created a super user yet. Let's check it out. So sorry about that. Well, we'll just go ahead and do Python manage.py create super user. Uh, user, there we go. Oh, come on. What happens here is my command goes off the screen and I can't tell what it's saying if I'm typing too fast. So we'll do admin. Uh, my email address at mastercode.online and put in my password from my password oh gonna not be correct because I did it twice sorry guys this is like torture for you guys I know come on Here we go. All right. Anyway, back to running the server, Python manage.py, my, uh, my great run server. It's a long day. And there we go. And where's my thing and sign in. What the hell? There we go. And we're going to go ahead and make a new post, add post. And what we're going to say here is uh, I am hidden. And it says I am hidden. All right. So we'll save that. And then you got to log out up here because you're currently logged in. So go ahead and log out. And we're going to go back up here and we're going to do post forward slash one return says I am hidden I am hidden well in this case I shouldn't be seeing this because I logged out correct so let's go ahead and authenticate the user in the template how are we going to do that well, let's go ahead and open up our template our post detail dot html and in here we're going to go ahead and do curly brace um, percent symbol and we're going to say if request dot user dot is authenticated 
or post.public, then we'll show this post. So what we're doing here is if the user is authenticated, that means if they're signed in, or if post is set to public, if you remember correctly, uh, where's our models right here? Um, public is false at this at the moment, but if we set it to true, then the public can see it. Anybody visiting the site can see it. So basically we're saying if request.user is authenticated, then display it to that user, or if the post is set to public, then display it to any user. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and throw a little message down here. We'll say else, uh, basically, um, you must be logged in to view content. Just like that. All right. And then we'll end if here. And there you go, guys. That's basically all you had to do. But you had to go through the port torture of seeing how this all works. So we're going to go ahead and refresh it. And it's going to say, you must be logged in to view the content. So I'm going to go in and oops, let's just uh, take this right here. Copy that. So I'll have to write it out. Boom. Admin. I'm going to sign in again. Log me in. And apparently it's not the right password. Log me in now. There we go. And I will update that password. And now if I refresh, we're going to go ahead and see I'm a hid I am hidden. I am hidden. So we got our title and our body. Now, if I go in here and edit the post in here, I am hidden, set it to public, save it, come back out here. Oh, we need to log out. Now we should see the post, right? So I hit reach and refresh it. There we go. I am hidden. I am hidden. So I see the post now it's set to true. So that's how we go ahead and block content via the template to uh, users who are not logged in. If you guys have any questions, head over to mastercode.online. Let us know over there. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.